welcome to another episode of Patkai Bus. Today I'm your anchor Kini and today we are here at Bandro to witness the event of National Science Day with the team Empowering Indian Youth for Global Leadership in Science and Innovation for Pixie Here to celebrate the National Day of Science 2025 which has the team Empowering Indian Youth for Global Leadership in Science and Innovation for Pixie Bar. Send you to God in prayer. Our Father, thank you for this day and for this time that has been set apart to observe the day this National Science Day. Good morning, everyone. Respected Professor L. Daibo, Dean School of Agricultural Science, Bangalore University, Chairperson of our National Science Day Program, Ms. Yaya, Ms. Angel Sonari, Member, Board of Trustees of Christian College. The college has prepared a small token of appreciation for our dean, esteemed guests. For that, first, I would like to call our VP for we be on the stage to facilitate Sir <coughs> Professor L. Daibo. So, Sir, please come here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Respected Chairperson, Ms. Yayan Samu, our most respected. Vice Principal, Dr. Rado. I came here to create kind of awareness on plastic pollution in our environment and how to help reduce plastic pollution. This is nothing new, especially to all of you, because you all have grown up and you might have attended other seminars, other programs related to this particular topic but with few pictures, photographs then I wanted to remind all of us present here to know something about plastic pollution and how to help reduce plastic pollution in our environment. They say that our earth will be too dirty a place to live in if microorganisms are not there. In and around us, we see leaf litters fallen. In the kitchen, we always throw some waste material into the bucket, basket. And as we eat fruits, we throw away the pills, we eat the fruit. But if these pills, these waste are not decomposed, by the activity of microorganisms, our earth will become too dirty a place to live in. But thank God that microorganisms exist. Even though we cannot see with our naked eyes, they do their duty. But unfortunately, the most common thing that we use, like the plastic bags, plastic bottles, plastic containers, they are not easily decomposed, or rather, very few type of microorganisms they bring about the decomposition of such materials, which take about hundreds of years, some even more than thousand years, to decompose the plastics. And because of this, plastics, waste, they create a havoc in our country. We are truly inspired and pleased by your words and your presentation and we wish you to come and continue motivating us in every way and we also wish you to survive long and to help us uh, for so many years. Thank you all more for this time as well. We pray that you guide us this day and whatever things that are going to be ahead of us again, they will bring more children. In the name of the Father, 
Son and Holy Ghost, we say this prayer. Uh, why do we celebrate National Science Day? Uh, for me, we celebrate National Science Day to highlight the importance of science in everyday life. Today's topic is about empowering youths, Indian youths, for global leadership in science and innovation. Today I want to be giving a good full speech filled with motivation because if we were actually living in a global stage, we wouldn't be here discussing on this matter. India, as we know, India is a scientific excellence. It is a land of scientific excellence. Example, from Aryabhata to Sivir Rama, this is a land of science and knowledge. It is us, it is us you, who, are, who will impart the innovation within us. Yes, you are its greatest asset. However, in order to uh, utilize the asset or the potential of this, you must provide or you must foster an ecosystem that provides skills, mindset and tools to foster an ecosystem. This day, today is celebrated to honor the groundbreaking discovery of eminent or prominent scientist or physicist, Sir Sivir Raman, who won the Nobel Prize in the year 1930. India, a nation that stands as a cusp for massive transformation and a land with immense potential, with a long history of breakthroughs from ancient contributions of Aryabhata and Janakyas. It's a time for us to take the lead. We have the curiosity, the creativity, and the hunger to make a difference, not just for India, but for the world. There are few steps that can be taken to excel uh, in the youth in a global level in science and technology. The first one is uh, to transform education. Instead of the things that we use for plastic, for example, the bottles, the plates, and stuff like that, which we frequently use, and the packagings and stuff, for it we can use more biodegradable, biodegradable things like, instead of the plates that we use in the hotels or in our functions like that, we can use the plates that are made up of dried leaves. And there are like a lot of entrepreneurs doing that. And instead of the bottles that we use and then throw it away, we can use, we can opt for bamboo, which is a very good um, alternative for the use of plastic bottles. And then. For the packagings, we can use paper bags, which we usually do. So I think that will be. to the end of the program. Thank you for your time and participation. We appreciate your presence and look forward to meeting again. Until then, stay safe, take care and do like and subscribe. <laughs>